Chainsaw Man chapter 111. I have a lot of stuff to say about this, so let's just jump right into it. Okay, so honestly, like, I kind of do feel like this was kind of rushed. Not this chapter particularly, in fact, I thought this pacing of this chapter was fine. I just feel like the past couple chapters were kind of rushed, like the whole, you know, Justice Devil invading the school. I, I don't know, I just feel like it was rushed and it left me a bit confused on like certain parts you know kind of like how like asa chopped up the justice devil and then like she looked over and seen some devil hunter who had eyes like makima but then the next chapter the justice devil wasn't chopped up in a bunch of pieces chainsaw man was there and asa was on the ground like she was defeated and the girl with makima's eyes was gone and like that was never explained and so i'm like okay whatever so that still leaves me very confused and i just feel like overall they just kind of like flew right through it like i just felt like randomly like there was just like this not really build up to it like it was just right on the spot of like okay yoko or yuko however you say your name like yoko is gonna go to the school and you know kill people and then it's like the next chapter boom they're already fighting it like cut straight to them meeting up they're fighting boom the fight's over and now we have the conclusion i don't know i, I don't know if you guys felt this way but i just felt like it was very rushed um but the conclusion is in this chapter and i really really liked it um this chapter gave me uh dingy and reze vibes <laughs> heavily except for a rushed version of it because there was a little bit of you know i just felt like there was a lot more fleshing out when it came to dingy and reze whereas this was almost kind of the same way um where it's like these two people end up becoming friends and then one gets killed in the end um and i i really like this chapter because um you know it you know fujimoto obviously did you know some foreshadowing of like oh yuko gave asa her shoes and then was like hey if you don't like them you can sell them or something but still like you need shoes and in this chapter asa did it back to yuko she was like look you're barefoot here's my shoes like just have them and uh, i just thought it was really really cool that she did that and that it was a throwback and, and stuff and then they start laughing and I love that scene because we get like some panels and stuff of not no dialogue or anything just them standing by some like plants and stuff outside of Asa's door and they're just laughing and then uh, Asa has the realization of like how terrible of a person she is because she's sitting there like dude like I just killed a bunch of people like well you go killed a bunch of people and I killed my teacher and stuff and my class president and here we are laughing about it like that's that's that doesn't make me a good person does it and so she has that you know realization and you know so obviously Yuko leaves and she says um, I'll be back to your, to return your shoes someday and then Asa says you better <coughs> sorry she says you better and then it shows um, Yuko um jumping across some buildings and stuff and immediately when I saw this I was like this gives me heavy Reze vibes I guarantee you I know what's gonna happen they're not gonna see each other again Yuko's not gonna give her back the shoes and she's going to be killed by a devil hunter now this is the part that I really want to talk to you guys about because maybe I'm just looking too much into this but so we see her a flock of birds fly by and then we get this page right here right and it shows somebody at the top sleeping I don't remember who that is I'm assuming it's one of Asa's classmates but we get Asa laying in bed Denji laying in bed with some dogs and we know who that is in the corner the black hair we know who that is nayuta so he for uh, fujimoto is is giving us that little bit of you know tease in there of like hey guys like 
you know you know who you've been waiting to see and then at the end we just get um yuko laying down but if you notice she's not sleeping like everybody else because you turn the page and she was slaughtered and here's the thing that's chainsaw man's silhouette right that killed her but let me scroll back. Denji's sleeping, right? And on this panel over here, it's going vroom, vroom, like the Chainsaw Man saws. So the Chainsaw Man saws are happening while Denji is still asleep. So, who the fuck is Chainsaw Man? Wait, like, am I reading too much into the... Is That's not Denji. Right? Or am I just reading into it and it is dingy, it's like a skip. It's like skipping over to see. But it's not though. Because if you read the panels, again, this panel, you know, it reads this way. So, sorry the lighting is bad, but like, it reads this way. Right? So like, the Chainsaw Man saws are happening first. And then it shows people sleeping. And then Yuko's head at the bottom. I don't know if my camera is making this backwards or not, but <laughs> from my perspective, um, yes, dude. Like the chainsaw man's saws are happening first, then it shows them sleeping, and then it zooms out at the last panel, and you get her dead. So like, like is that not dingy? Like, is he not Chainsaw Man? Or is there another Chainsaw Man? Like, what is happening? Like, I'm trying to, like, look back in time and think of, like, was there any foreshadowings of there possibly being another Chainsaw Man? I can't think of any off the top of my head, but I'm, like, reading this and I'm like, like, is that dingy? But it's not, though. Like, it can't be... Because, like, the Chainsaw Man room sound effects are happening before it shows dingy. So, dingy's sleeping while the Chainsaw Man saws are going off. So, are there two Chainsaw Mans? Or is dingy somehow no longer Chainsaw Man? Because, it, it, dude, think about this. How crazy of a mindfuck would this be? In all of part one, I mean part two, sorry. In all of part two, Denji's been talking about how he is Chainsaw Man. And Asa didn't believe him. What if he's not? Like, what if Denji's not Chainsaw Man right now? Because, like... No, because we've seen him fight the cockroach devil, right? And he immediately turned. No, wait, we didn't. We never saw Denji de-transform out of Chainsaw Man. When he fought the cockroach devil and it smashed into the bat devil. Because if you remember, the chapter ended with him saving a cat. Yes, you could say that was Denji. I do believe it was Denji. But what if it wasn't? Because the next chapter, it jump cuts... To dingy on the ground by the TV people filming TV, filming for the news. We actually never visually see him de transform or transform. Right? So, like, what if he's not Chainsaw Man? Or there's two Chainsaw Man. I think there's two Chainsaw Mans, because, like, why would... Because Denji's been saying he's Chainsaw Man. Like, he hasn't, like... You know what I mean? Like, he never said, oh, I lost my powers or whatever. He still is Chainsaw Man. So I don't believe that, you know, there's just Denji and then there's Chainsaw Man. I don't believe that. I think that Denji is Chainsaw Man, but now there's another Chainsaw Man. Or maybe a different power tool that is like a Chainsaw Man. Like a... 
jigsaw or like a table saw man or something i don't know well the, if you look at the silhouette it, it is chainsaw man silhouette right and you can see on his arm there's blood coming out of his arm meaning he just you know sucked in one of his saws back into his arm so the placements are exactly where chainsaw man's are hold up wait let me go back sorry because i remember there being a poster in chapter one not chapter one but chapter what was it 98 the first chapter of part one i mean part two sorry i'm all over the place in this video but it's like hold on let me quickly go ahead go back and glance because i remember after asa first became the war devil at the end of the chapter there was a poster with a picture of chainsaw man but what if that wasn't chainsaw man like how dude because that's the thing is fujimoto always throws these wild ass curveballs and if that is the case if like somehow there's like two chainsaw mans like literally how dude and call yeah so the poster says it shows a picture of chainsaw man and it says calling party 512 whatever that means calling party hall 2 512 i don't know dude I don't know, but I am like super hyped right now. And obviously I could just be uh, leaning into this too much. It obviously could just be, you know, Denji, you know, he is a devil hunter. So he has to slay devils. Um, Yuko did kill a bunch of people at the high school or whatever. So it would make sense for him to go and stop Yuko. So that's probably what happened is Denji probably was, I, I, maybe the paneling is just weird. And it was like, oh, Denji's sleeping but then, you know, he woke up and he went to go fight um, Yuko and took Yuko out. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. And if not, then what is happening right now? In a good way, by the way, because I know in my last two videos, I said that I wasn't sure where this was going and I didn't like that feeling. Um, and I was only saying that because of that certain situation but chainsaw man as a whole has continuously gave me the feeling of i don't know what's happening but it's great you know so don't get me wrong i know in the last like video or two i did say that it was going that way and i didn't like it but this time around i am loving it i dude i would be so fucking happy if there was two chainsaw mans like if 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 Fujimoto can write it in a way where it works and it makes sense i am all for it like that is a dope ass idea and i don't think anyone has like like come up with this i mean i don't know i don't watch other people's videos because i like to keep my ideas fresh when i come into these videos but as far as i know dude maybe i'm the only one on this theory and in the promotional image for Chainsaw Man Part 1, it was a panel uh, of Denji holding a chainsaw with Makima's reflection. The ending of Part 1 was Denji holding a chainsaw, man, chainsaw with uh, Makima's reflection, and that was like how the arc ended. So, in Part 2, their promotional image was Asa holding a chainsaw. She talks about how her power is whenever she's connected to something, it she can turn it into her weapon. And the more connection she has with that thing, uh, the more power that it gives her. And in the promotional image, she is holding a chainsaw, which made me believe, I, I made a video about it before, it made me, to, me believe that Asa is going to kill chainsaw man and make her make him her weapon well what if there's two chainsaw mans and that's how she does it and so dingy doesn't die it's this second chainsaw man and on top of that i'm gonna end the video right right here because i went a little longer than i wanted to but i will throw out this one last theory and that is what if the person who is telling yoshida the dude with the octopus devil what if the person who is commanding him to keep Denji's identity a secret isn't who I thought it was, Kishibe? What if 
it's the second chainsaw man and the reason why these devil hunters are trying to keep dingy's identity as a secret is not for dingy's sake but the second chainsaw man's sake think about that well that's all i have for you guys today but if you want to go check out my manga series katosai there will be a link in the description where you can go read it right now also don't forget to check out any of my playlists if you missed any of my weekly chainsaw man videos or my bi-weekly ssr videos which are my sunday series recommendations where every other sunday i read the first chapter of a manga that i've never read before and then i recommend it to you guys or my manga could talk videos where every month i give you guys a life update on well pretty much my life and anything else anime and manga related that i didn't get a chance to talk about in other videos but with that said i'll see you guys in the next one